What is something that a fictional Schachter said that stuck with you? Serious. It is possible to make no mistakes and still lose. That is not weakness, that is life. Hashtag X200B, thank you Captain Picard. I think this is most critical to understand with regard to others. It's important to understand this regarding yourself, but it's also easier to incorporate all context and judgments of yourself. You should forgive yourself for failures and that might take some cognitive effort, but you are also present for the whole situation and know all the facts. It can be harder, but no less important, to be compassionate to others when they fail, because you may not have all the context for it. And when you don't have all the context, it's tempting to write off others' failures as them just not doing the right things or having the right motivations or whatever. Essentially an extension of the fundamental attribution error. You can see this all over the internet. Post any store picture of a day or whatever about yourself, or someone else, failing and people will come from all corners of the world to tell you how you did this or that wrong and how the failure was all your fault and how they've never had any problems because they were smart strong motivated whatever enough to do things this other way. We judge ourselves by our intentions and others by their behavior. Stephen M. R. Covey, The Speed of Trust, The One Thing That Changes Everything. People aren't thinking about you the way that you're thinking about you. Alexis Rose, thanks for all the awards and upvotes. And no, the quote isn't from Axel Rose, lol. It's from Alexis Rose, who's a character on the wonderful Schitt's Creek. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's amazing. I loved her character arc over the course of the show. I really loved her at the end. I know. Her evolution was perfect. She was such a little shit at the beginning, but by the end you really were cheering for her. I like how she evolved so gradually without a big reveal. It seemed more genuine that she slowly reflected and learned the whole way. Everybody's haunted by who they were and who they thought they'd be. Caduceus Clay. Your secret is safe with my indifference. Saruman believes it is only great power that can hold evil in check, but that is not what I have found. I have found it is the small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Simple acts of kindness and love. Gandalf. Every day, it gets a little easier. But you have to do it every day, that's the hard part. But it does get easier. Thank you wise running monkey. I think earlier in the show you see the monkey running with an older lady. And in the scene when the monkey says that, he is running alone. Money doesn't change people. It just makes it easier for them to be who they are. Grandpa Abraham Simpson. How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Winnie the Pooh edit. Thanks for the upvotes and rewards. My most popular comment ever. One of my favorite scenes in Winnie the Pooh, Christopher Robin, Pooh Bear, what if someday there came a tomorrow when we were apart? Pooh, as long as we're apart together, we shall certainly be fine. CR, yes, yes, of course. But if, if we weren't together. If I were somewhere else? P, oh, but you really couldn't be, as would be quite lost without you. Who would I call on those days when I'm just not strong enough or brave enough? CR, well, actually. P, and who would ask for advice when didn't know which way to turn? CR, poo, we. P, we. We simply wouldn't be. CR, oh, poo. If ever there's a tomorrow when we're not together, there's something you must remember. P, and what might that be? Christopher Robin. CR, you're braver than you believe, and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. P, oh, that's easy. We're braver than a bee, and, uh, longer than a tree, and taller than a goose. Or, uh, was that a moose? CR, no, silly, old bear. You're braver than you believe, and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. But the most important thing is even if we're apart, I'll always be with you. You too. B. Some people are so far behind in the race that they actually believe they're leading. Corrado Soprano. Reminds me of the Dutch cyclist who thought she won the gold medal in the Olympics when in fact there was an, Austrian? Competitor alone far in front. That was an insane performance by the woman who won. Like the best of the best and you left them in the dust. Remarkable. Andy Bernard I wish there was a way to know you're in the good old days before you've actually left them. Can a man be brave, even I'd he's afraid? That's the only time a man can be brave. Reminds me of the Earl quote, I learned that courage was not the absence of fear, but the triumph over it. The brave man is not he who does not feel afraid, but he who conquers that fear. Nelson Mandela
the difference between bravery and stupidity, is that the brave man is afraid. My first time, Afghanistan. We were moving through a house and. Suddenly a man was there and I shot him in the stomach. Yeah, that's a real war story. There are never any good stories like in movies, they're shit. A man was there, boom. Stomach. I was so scared I didn't pull the trigger again for the rest of the day. I thought, well, that's it, bacho. You put a bullet in someone. You're not you anymore. You'll never be you again. But then you wake up the next morning and you're still you. And you realize, that was you all along. You just didn't know. From the fourth episode of Chernobyl. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. John Marston. Reminds me of, why are you doing this, doc? Because Wyatt Earp is my friend. Hell, I got lots of friends. I don't. There are so many good Doc Holiday quotes. Why, Johnny Ringo, you look like someone just walked over your grave, we started a game we never got to finish. Blood for blood, remember? Oh that, I was just fooling about I wasn't. What makes a man like Ringo, Doc? What makes him do the things he does? A man like Ringo has got a great big hole, right in the middle of him. He can never kill enough, or steal enough, or inflict enough pain to ever fill it. What does he need? Revenge. For what? Being born. It is important to draw wisdom from many different places. If you take it from only one place it becomes rigid and stale. Understanding others, the other elements and the other nations will help you become whole, Uncle Iroh. When you do things right people won't be sure you've done anything at all. Edit, thanks for the awards guys. I'm glad we all love that episode so much. Seeing all this after working all day is simply awesome. Thanks again. A man's emotions are what define him, control is the hallmark of true strength. To lack feeling is to be dead, but to act on every feeling is to be a child. Daliner Colon. Daliner has the best quotes in the Cosmere. Sometimes a hypocrite is nothing more than a man in the process of changing. The most important step a man can take is the next one. Pride is not the opposite of shame, but its source. True humility is the only antidote to shame. Uncle Iroh. When a child first catches adults out, when it first walks into his grave little head that adults do not always have divine intelligence, that their judgments are not always wise, their thinking true, their sentences just, his world falls into panic desolation. The gods are fallen and all safety gone. And there is one sure thing about the fall of gods, they do not fall a little, they crash and shatter or sink deeply into green muck. It is a tedious job to build them up again, they never quite shine. And the child's world is never quite whole again. It is an aching kind of growing east of Eden, John Steinbeck. Sucking at something is the first step towards being sorta of good at something, Jake the dog. This is the worst day of your life. So far, Homer Simpson. Despite my best efforts to the contrary. It turns out I've won, Arthur Morgan. Cheaty explaining death like a wave returning to the ocean at the ending of The Good Place really hits me every time I read it, hear it or have a bad mood that really needs some emotional purging. Picture a wave in the ocean. You can see it, measure it, its height, the way the sunlight refracts when it passes through, and it's there, and you can see it, and you know what it is, it's a wave. And then it crashes on the shore and it's gone. But the water is still there. The wave was just a different way for the water to be for a little while. That's one conception of death for a Buddhist, the wave returns to the ocean, where it came from, where it's supposed to be. The good place has a lot of good quotes one of my favorite is if Donna Shellstrop has truly changed, then that means she was always capable of change, but I just wasn't worth changing for. That's so sad. Sam's speech in LOTR, Frodo, I can't do this, Sam. Sam, I know. It's all wrong. By rights we shouldn't even be here. But we are. It's like in the great stories, Mr. Frodo. The ones that really mattered full of darkness and danger, they were. And sometimes you didn't want to know the end. Because how could the end be happy? How could the world go back to the way it was when so much bad had happened? But in the end, it's only a passing thing, this shadow. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come. And when the sun shines it will shine out the clearer. Those were the stories that stayed with you. That meant something, even if you were too small to understand why. But I think, Mr. Frodo, I do understand. I know now. Folk in those stories had lots of chances of turning back, only they didn't. They kept going. Because they were holding on to something. 
Frodo, what are we holding on to, Sam? Sam, that Therese some good in this world, Mr. Frodo and it's worth fighting for. Edit, I've never had a post-break 100 on Reddit before, and after reading all of the same love for this speech that I have for it has made my day, thank you. Gandalf's speech helped me through 2020. Frodo, I wish the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. Gandalf, so do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us.